When the labyrinth was first used at St Mark's, I was very sceptical. I couldn't see how walking around a maze on a church floor could add anything to my faith journey, especially if that walk was to be shared with others. Several years later, and just to be polite, I gave it a try and was converted. I was involved in the creating of the labyrinth that we now use at St Mark's and that very act of creation has enhanced my appreciation of and connection to this form of worship. Come with me as I walk around the labyrinth this Holy Week. First, take off your shoes so we don't get muddy footprints on the canvas. But this means that we are vulnerable at the start of our journey. And then enter and follow the path. As we walk around, following the twists and turns, it appears that we're getting close to the centre. Oh, and then we seem to be walking away again. Going back to the beginning? No, round the outside. We become involved in the journey, not just seeing it as a painting on the floor. At St Mark's, our labyrinth opens out to the altar, where we are invited to sit for a while and contemplate, think where we have been, where we are going, and when we are ready, back to the path. As we walk the labyrinth, sometimes we are aware of someone walking towards us. We have a choice. Step out of the way and let them pass. Keep our head down. Pretend they are not there. Look up and smile. Acknowledge their presence. Pilgrims on the same path. To me, all of this reflects the choices that we have in life. And then, at last, we reach the centre. Stay a while. Pray. Just sit. Is this our destination? Or simply another stopping point on our journey? Some churches have offered communion at the centre of the labyrinth. Perhaps a reading. Prayer, certainly. The candle is lit. We need to do nothing. Let God speak to us. Or just sit with us. The path out of the labyrinth is the same as the path in, except that it's not. The same twists and turns, the same journey to the edge and then back in again. But we are changed. We pass different people, perhaps no one at all. We are changed. As we reach the end, we become aware of the world around. The sounds of the traffic outside. Noises in the church. Sit for a while. And then the shoes go back on. And we are back to reality. But as a different person. Having experienced something mysterious. Magical, perhaps, beyond comprehension. <laughs>